Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So I really hope you guys are enjoying this video and you're learning a lot and you're getting a lot out of this videos. Um, this videos? These videos. So um, today we're going to be editing in the style of Amy Song. This was actually a request by one of our subscribers, someone that messaged us down below in the comments. So if you want to go ahead um, and see us edit in the style of someone else, let us know down below in the comments. But we get literally thousands of these so I can't guarantee I'll do yours. But um. I'll see what I can do. So essentially, I'm going to be editing this photo, well not this exact photo, because it's, I didn't take it, but um, a photo that's very similar to this, by Amy Song. Um, well, I, I didn't, well she didn't take it, I'm, I'm confusing you, anyway, we'll go on. So this is the colour grade that we've gone ahead and done, we've applied. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you the before and the after. So you see, a subtle colour grade, um, but that's what her account's all about. Like, I've just gone through and I've had a look. Um, and she looks like one of those famous Instagram influencers that um, don't really use that much editing. They It's kind of more raw out the, the camera. Um, and if she does, um, it's a little bit filmic, just like this one. Um, and a little bit grungy, a little bit out of focus. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from the photo. So there's not too much to do here. It's just little bits of subtle color grading that we're going to try and replicate. So um, combination of these two photos here. Now you saw... Thankfully, I managed to find a Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese woman kind of person that's wearing a very similar dress. So we're pretty much guaranteed to get a very similar look. So let me just show you the before and the after, um, and then let's just start editing the photo. Before we start editing, guys, um, because I'm only on 6,300 followers and Amy's on, what, like 5.3 million, um, I think it would be really nice of you if you went and uh, give me a follow instead, because I don't think she needs any more. <laughs> Whereas I'm begging for them and I need them. Um, I've only got 6,000 and Sebastian's got 14,000 um, Matt and Seb, in case you're wondering, he's Seb, I'm Matt um, So yeah, give us a follow, that'll be absolutely awesome um, Give Amy a follow, even though you, you probably already are in the first place But if you haven't, then of course go and give her a follow as well Now, let's just start editing this photo, shall we? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply come down and click reset This is great because um, we've got a bunch of um, reference photos that we can go ahead and apply. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a film look preset to it because it is slightly filmy and I want to see... Nah, that's not working. Okay. I wanted to see how it would look um, but it's not working. Um, it, it gives it a film look but it's not giving it the same look as this. So the benefit is if you want to go ahead and get the exact preset that I use in this video top link down below in the description, put in your name, your email address, I'll send 10 free presets to you uh, for a free trial and then if you choose to stay on the trial um, after two days, I'll send you 500 more presets, and these are all of our how to edit light presets. So you can get 500 presets if you stay on, um, but it's going to cost like $15 or something. But if not, you can get 10 for free. Um, so let's start with editing this photo, shall we? So the first thing to note is with Amy's photo here on the left, she's got a little bit more. Um, her highlights are a little bit like not overblown, I wouldn't say, but they're definitely brighter than my ones are. So let's just start off with that shall we. Let's um, bring up our exposure just a tiny bit because ours isn't um, as bright as I'd like it. Then we're going to leave the contrast as is because her photos aren't you know super contrasty. Um, next up we've got the highlights. Let's bring those up a tiny bit. Now as I said this is only going to be a subtle colour grade and we're not going to be doing much. Mo a lot of it's going to be done in the in the basics panel. We're going to bring up the shadows as well to give it more information in them. Uh, the only thing is I don't like about this image is the background. Uh, the person who took it could have done a lot better um, in terms of getting a little bit more background interest. The other thing is we don't, we've got a lot of depth of field in ours whereas in Amy's photo um, there's no depth of field but you know we work with what we've got. Hey? Right. Whites as well, let's just bring the whites up just to get those bright whites that we see here on the left hand side. Um, blacks, you know, she doesn't have that many shadows in this particular photo so um, we're going to leave ours as as is. I'm going to bring the clarity up just a tiny bit as well. Um, and I might actually just drop off a tiny bit with the vibrancy. Um, not too much but just a bit. Next up we're going to come to the tone curve and I like to do the three point tone curve. Um, this is just it gives me control over the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights, and of course the whites and the blacks. Um, so we're going to drop those down a little bit on the midtones. Um, no, we're not. We're going to bring them up. I've changed my mind. We're going to bring them up. See what happens. Uh, bring the shadows down a little bit, and I am going to add in a touch of fade to the image just to get a little bit of this contrast in there. But um, she does. Have, I don't know whether she does have fade in the image or the, the photo doesn't seem super high quality so it's it's actually quite difficult to tell whether or not she's actually added like fade and grain into the image or whether or not that's just because 
it's a really low quality photo. Um, <clears throat> but if it is, then we're going to be doing it anyway because that's the look that I've got, so it's the look we're going to be working off. Okay, so next up is the getting the colours right and skin tones, etc. So what we're going to be doing is for the red, our red's a little bit like too pinky, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit and make it a little bit more orangey just to match the look of her dress. Um, drop our oranges a tiny bit, not too much. Um, and then do the same with our yellows, just drop those back as well. I'm going to leave all the other colours because we don't really have any of those in the photo. Saturation wise, um, we haven't got anything else apart from this really annoying blue sitting in the background. Um, so that's gone, we're not having that anymore, that's off. Um, and I'm going to desaturate the uh, greens and the aquas as well. Then what I'm going to do is on the oranges I'm just going to bring up the luminance. That's just going to make the highlights on her skin just really pop and stand out a little bit more which is um, kind of what we've got going on here. I'm also going to bring the luminance of the yellows down. Finally, with the split toning, I'm just going to bring it up subtly on the highlights um, and add in about plus 40, I think, just to get a bit of those yellows in there. Um, and then just a bit on the shadows as well. Um, I think about plus 180, 185, just to get a bit of teal into the shadows, um, just to replicate her look. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to finish off with the camera calibration. So the camera calibration, I'm just going to push my green primary to the left a little bit um, and then I'm going to bring my blue primary to the right, leave my shadows, or oh, sorry, my saturation um, as they were, and then I think we're pretty much done in terms of the colour grade. Oh, one final thing, I just want to add in some grain um, into the photo. About 20, maybe 30, bring up the size a little bit um, just so we can see it as a bit more noticeable and maybe the roughness a tad. Um, and there we go, I'm going to call it quits. There we go guys, that is how you go ahead and edit like Amy Song. Um, if you want to see me edit a different style of her photos, then of course leave a like down below and let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that. But thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.